All right, this week we uh, we call this this show is going to be the divorce tour. We figured we would all get divorced before we got home. We had a pheasant hunt all the way in South Dakota, and we was going to stop before we got there in Texas and shoot sand hill cranes. So we didn't really know if we were going to have any wives when we got home, but we had a heck of a hunt plan. All right, our buddy JP called us, said, you boys want to go on a sand hill crane hunt? And heck yeah, his friend, Bucky with Level 7 Outdoors is taking doing a veteran hunt. And I uh, said, you boys want to come down and film it? We said, man, we game. We get a crew together and we head to Texas. Well, boys, we have made it. We are at the Cracker Barrel. We've got us a meeting place and we're going to meet at Cracker Barrel because everybody knows we like to stop at Cracker Barrel. All we need is a sponsorship from them. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be balling the more. <laughs> Ronnie's here. Big Ronnie done made it here. So when Ronnie gets out of the truck, we know something's a little wrong. He got a swole up jaw. What's up, my baby? Let's go, my baby. <laughs> and and sure enough, he had problems. Abscess too. Man, I am full and ready to get back in there and relax. Brother Justin, get that thing on the road. They're supposed to have a light rain going. Hear that on that roof? I'm, I'm ready to lean back and do what I do best, sleep. All right, now our buddy Wimburn, now you talk about a dude, if you talk about the feathers part of real south hunting, you know it's fin, furs, and feathers. If you mention feathers, our buddy Justin Wimburn's ready. So me and him and Brooke hit the road, headed to Texas. But if you've never tried to find you a dentist while you're on the road, it ain't no easy task. Finally, finally we found us a dentist, not us, we found Ronnie a dentist that could see him, that didn't have to have an appointment, just walk in. All right, we didn't get very little sleep, but we got a little bit. Next morning, way before daylight, we was up, ready to go, looking for them sand hill cranes. We went to meet our guys down at a little local store. Brother Ronnie, he just couldn't make it. He just didn't feel like it. So we get down there and we're all talking, grouping up. Somehow or another, I got by myself. I was with a group by myself, and Brooke and them was all in a group, so they knowed everybody. Ready. All right, let's get it. I just like the donuts in here. That's what it's about right there. We already got birds behind us. We can sit in there listening to them the whole time we've been set. You do not be shooting down this way, all right? Safety is paramount. We do not have any dogs out here today, so it's just going to be us guys chasing down cripples. Please do not shoot me, all right? As you can see, we got a bunch of full bodies out here. They're nice and brand new and expensive. Please do not shoot my decoys. Get comfy. Well, Might have to get a little more tight, but we're going to get it going. We got about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll get everybody in there. First, we'll tuck them in one last time because, you know, like you see, some of this stuff kind of falls off these windows here. You know, once we get everybody settled, all this moving panels and everything kind of beat stuff up. Hey, Jay, you ready to get them buttoned up? Well, we get out there that first morning. I'm in the blind with uh, Bucky and JP and some of the veterans. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen. There's one laying right here. There's another one over here. You got to shoot this far, okay? Hey, kill him in front. Shot. Yeah, he's kicking good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've hit anything yet. 
Maybe that'll what? do us a little better since the wind now? changed. They're gonna be landing right in front of us now. Hopefully so. Why are we spreading them out? Make some holes for them to land. Yeah, because they're sitting there, but we had that high scoop that flew over, and they just didn't even come up there. So we're going to open it up, get some more holes in that form, come in. Cool. Yeah, Get some more dogs, man. Now they're a dangerous bird. They've got the long, big, pointy beaks. The guys would go out there and they made sure they had some shells in their pocket when they went to retrieve them. Now he's got to battle them. Well, but he's shot three times, so I hope he took some shells with him. I made that mistake last year. Just going out with the three on you? Yeah. I had to run. About that Probably fall. Probably trying to chase that sucker down. Missed him three times from 20 yards because I was gassed. <sighs> He's like, all right, man, it's me and you now. Grab the barrel of my gun, getting ready to just club this sucker, beat my chest, trying to chum me up. Come on, come on, come on. Back. All right. I did see some feathers that time, so it's getting better. I had never been sand hill crane hunting. I mean, you get out there in a blind, something similar to a duck blind, and I mean, I could hear, I could hear something way off coming, and I didn't really know just what it was, but it was sand hill cranes. could shoot no doubt about it i didn't do so good myself i was running the camera i did get a couple of shots in but these boys i don't forget what the limit was right now but we was one shy of the limit we want to give a big shout out to level seven outdoors for inviting us on this sand hill crane hunt something we never got to do before but definitely something we'd do again rib eyes in the sky boy howdy Stubbs, come try that bad boy this is this is your throttle this right here. Your brakes work good. 
Yeah. So, does he remember how to ride a bike? bike now. I ain't rode a bike in a long time. Oh, you know, if you know how to ride a motorbike, it's easier. Just you hold don't on, need to man. pedal. There you go. Just give it some gas. Say, but when you pedal, it's not hard to pedal. It makes it go faster. All right, now this was a rather lengthy hunt. We left Texas and went straight to Kansas to Misty Morning Outfitters. There's a lot to say, but the main thing to say is I didn't get a buck. Ronnie seen a big buck two or three times, just couldn't seal the deal. Big shout out to Misty Morning for letting us stop by and hunt, just a quick hunt. But uh, we headed on up to South Dakota to see if we can't knock a bird down. 